Hey Vortexers, welcome back to the channel The Venus Vortex. I am Kazi, I am your tarot specialist and astrology here on the channel and today we are going to explore the 22nd degree in astrology which is known as the kill or be killed degree and that is not to be confused with the amazing heavy metal band Kill or Be Killed which you should totally check out if you haven't heard of them before but we're going to be exploring what this energy means and what it means for you especially if you have it on your natal chart okay if you're not sure go and check out my video on the natal chart and you can check out where your astrological degrees are and whether you've got one so this will actually be made into a mini series because there is a 22 degree for every single star sign and so i'm going to be exploring those in a little bit more detail for you so i'll be going through each sign in each video but today this is just a general overview of what it is so you can understand the concept and kind of wrap your heads around it the 22 degree the kill or be killed degree is an energy that affects your life and it is a constant energy that weighs down on you it pushes you down okay and that is to actually make you rise up to higher levels than any other starts any other person can okay so it is something that makes you very reputational and that can make you famous or infamous depending on how you go about it now that doesn't mean that you're guaranteed fame okay because you have to put in the hard work it is after all a capricorn degree the 22nd degree and so you have to really work hard and you have to work a lot harder than everybody else but that's what gives you your greatness because you get and inherit wisdom from it over time so you become the ruler the master if you will of that area of your life now this 22nd degree can be found on affecting a planet a house or a mathematical point such as your lot of fortune or your spirit for example so that will actually affect if it affects the house it will affect the whole house and all of the planets within it it will kind of coat it if you will but if it affects a planet it will affect the how that planet functions and if it is a mathematical point it will affect that how it functions as well it depends on where it is and what it's affecting with how it will influence your daily lifestyle so for example we have marilyn monroe now marilyn monroe has a 22nd degree in her first house and it is ruled by neptune neptune is the planet of beauty so she was somebody who was renowned for her beauty she was a real fantasy figure she used to dress in really provocative but yet classy and elegant kind of outfits that were kind of fantasy like in the way that she approached her presentation in life and so she was very much a larger than life character but you know had this air and grace about her an energy that you're just drawn to you were captivated by her in ways that you just aren't with other people that's because it's the first thing you see it's in her first house that rules her personality her persona her body as well now because this is her first in her first house this was also her undoing this is how she ended her life as well because the 22 degree is a kill or be killed so it means that it is an indicator for death and there's also an indicator for murder so it could be an indicator that you're the murderer the killer if you will or it can mean that you're getting murdered right the victim so it just depends on how you choose to exude this energy so we can assume that Marilyn Monroe was not a killer but Neptune the ruler of assassinations suggests that she may have been assassinated but it is also the ruler of drugs and we do know that she did have a drug overdose as her type of death and it could be that she was murdered and that the killer made it look like a suicide because she was notoriously known for being sad depressed and suicidal she did do a lot of um, pharmaceutical drugs as well and was quite a heavy drinker this is that 22 degree bowing down giving her addictions giving her um, struggles and feelings of alone loneliness and things like that even though it made her an amazing sex symbol and an actress and a singer and all of these amazing beautiful attributes that made her a larger than life character 
And that's what it does to people. It gives you a great reward and also a great sacrifice, the sacrifice of life. If you want to think of it, it's kind of your soul's deal with the devil when you were born. You're kind of getting something really good, but it's gonna cost you something in the end. And that's that 22 degree energy. Now, it can also be something that takes away from you and it's something that you can't get rid of. So for example, if you had this in your ninth house, it may be that you never ever are able to finish a single course or degree at school, uh, especially higher learning because that's what the ninth house rules. So it could affect that area of your life. If you have a planet in it, it'll affect that planet as well. And so that gives multiple themes to this. That is the 22nd degree, kind of an overview, if you will. And we'll be getting into more detail in each of the star signs. So stay tuned for those videos. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I'm really excited to have shared this concept with you. Please let me know how you found it in the comments below. And I can't wait to see you again. Thank you so much for joining me at the Venus Vortex. I'm Kazi. Bye.